Hi, my name's Matt. I'd like to welcome you to this Syniac video, part of our ITIL Strategist course, Direct Plan and Improve. In this video, we'll be looking at how continual improvement fits into the service value chain and also how it fits into the organisation. So we'll start off by looking at the service value chain and practices. So on the slide you can see the ITIL service value chain and we know that it is a set of building blocks that can be combined in any order to create value streams. So there'll be multiple value streams going through that service value chain. So some may include all the, all the steps within the, all six steps within the service value chain. Others might only include one or two but it's, it's a, an abstraction that helps us understand our business and focus on different key areas of our business. So improving the service value chain, we want small improvements to a building block. So we've sp spoken in the last video about doing small incremental improvements. That's the, the basis of most of our continual improvements, small incremental improvements. So we, we might look at any of those building blocks. So engage or design and transition, deliver and support, improve, whichever it might be. Improve because we obviously want to improve the way we implement continual improvement. So we focus on one area. So that it, at that level, we've got six building blocks that we can focus on to improve before we drill down to the ITIL practices and obviously the ITIL practices support those building blocks and different practices support different building blocks more than others and if you've got the manual you can look at the heat maps that help you with that but it's really another level of detail that we can drill down to. When we are focusing on a value chain building block it's important to consider the impact across the whole value chain and value streams. So if we try to improve obtain build, don't just look at obtain build, consider how it will affect the other building blocks and any value streams you have defined that go through obtain build because other building blocks might be giving you inputs, you might be outputting to another building block. So obviously you've got those connections there. Understand the bigger picture, that holistic holistic view and think about the customer journey obviously that we spoke about in drive stakeholder value if you've done that course as well value stream maps help understand those interdependencies to improve practices understand their contribution to the service value chain so drill down to a particular practice understand which building blocks within the service value chain they most affect and then if we're trying to improve a practice, make sure it's not just improving how we do that practice, but also having an effect on those service value chain building blocks as well. If a practice's objective is not consistently achieved or if a practice is not performing effectively or efficiently, the value chain activities to which it contributes are likely to suffer. We're now going to look at continual improvement in organisations and the first thing to say is it's everyone's responsibility every day and that comes from lean, that's a, a lean saying and it's in lean they talk about Kaizen and that small incremental improvement so it's every day I, I'm trying to make my job, what my scope of control, my responsibility, I'm looking at how I can improve. And again, that accumulation of marginal gains will give us the, the big gains. When one objective is met, see, seek another opportunity to improve. So again, we don't want to be saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We want to be saying how can we make it better? It's great, but how can we make it better? Improve leadership and operational practices. So not don't just focus on outcomes as well. Look at processes, leadership, practices and so on. The continual improvement practice aligns to an organization's practices and services and changing business needs through the ongoing improvement of product services practices and the management of products and services. So that's the, 
the key message to remember for the exam. Improvements can be implemented at any level. So at the bottom level where you might be working or you know individuals are working all the way up to the top. So at any level within the organization, individuals, teams, groups, departments, practices, value chain activities and so on. Individual teams, individuals and teams must understand what success will look like. So that's very important. And it's important that we have a shared understanding of what success looks like. And it will be different for different organisations. So what's success for my organisation will be different from yours, but it's, it's important to understand what it looks like for us and that that's achievable so not just that it's desirable I've spoken about this before it's desirable for me to be able to run a marathon in two hours but it's not achievable so we need to make sure it's both and help to define and agree the objectives to deliver the outcomes so focus on the outcomes but how are we going to achieve those outcomes we've defined what the outcomes need to be how are we going to achieve them Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we will be looking at the continual improvement model. Until you see me again, have a great day.